My name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 5 scary videos. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads. I have a goal of reaching 1 million subscribers well, so my it cat's would mean my, a lot to me cabinet. if you could help. I gotta get, gotta get him out. <laughs> what are you doing? Period. You stuck in there? Got him in the kitchen cabinet. Why were you under there? I know why he was under there. I was vacuum cleaning. And he's scared of the vacuum. But that's okay. This first video comes to us from the wildly popular ghost subreddit and was posted by a user named Raj the Casper. Ooh. The video in question shows what appears to be an ordinary office workplace, but in just a few moments, this seemingly innocent video turns into something sinister. The footage seems to have been taken during the middle of the day during a busy hour in which several employees can be seen huddled around a desk together, discussing something Man, work related. can y'all clean your office? Holy! Look at all that, what do you all even do? Y'all sell bike helmets or something? That's crazy, bike wear? That's a crazy looking office. However, if you look carefully- Oh, you got all these chairs! Sorry, right sorry, sorry. Here, you sorry. should be able to make out something rather odd, to say the least. Take a look. Oh my god. The cabinet drawer open. If not, you're not alone. As many other commenters on Reddit said that they had to watch the video multiple times over in order to see what was so strange about this video. Right here, the drawer beneath the helmet on the left appears to open all by itself. The uploader of this video says that this office has had drawers and cabinets randomly opened by themselves for years. So this isn't something new that's been going on at the OP's workplace. Let's just hope that whatever creepy spirit is roaming around this office will soon grow tired of the antics and float away to someplace else. It's not even a good prank. A ghost wouldn't care. Like, what's the prank there? Like, oh, I slightly opened a drawer? It's not... It's probably just because it's slanted and it doesn't have a latch that's, like, keeping it down. I wish I had Dave, today's sponsor, when my car started making weird okay. sounds. I knew Bro, it was time to get a minute? Dad, but you know how dumb That's crazy. school, you most certainly think of a place in which students can attend and learn new things and make new friends. <laughs> what? School is supposed to be a happy and safe environment, but unfortunately, seeing as how we live in you a- You know, school where you make friends and good grade and you have book. Gigantic and oftentimes unpredictable world, that is not always the case as evidenced by this YouTube video. Posted by Maya Alexia Burgos Fernandez on June 14th, 2015, the footage in question shows a couple of guys wandering around the premises of an unidentified school in the middle of the day, only to make a seriously baffling discovery. Is horrifying hallway? Oh. What is that? That looks like a... Like somebody on their legs scuffling forward. On the ground is an extremely small looking creature that appears to move around in an odd manner. Do they think it's a, a gnome? Lot of people, including the uploader himself, seem to think that this is none other than a duende. Oh. For those who are unfamiliar, a duende is a humanoid figure of folklore comparable to dwarves, gnomes, or leprechauns. It is! It's a gnome! In Spanish, duende originated as a contraction of the phrase dueño de casa, or duende casa effectively master of the house, oh. or perhaps derived from some similar mythical being of the Visigoth or Swabian culture, given its similarity with the Tumte of the Swedish language, conceptualized as a mischievous spirit inhabiting a dwelling. 
oh. when they are not, let's just hope that whatever this creepy creature is, it'll leave the kids at this school alone. Don't even look real. And I don't mean that as like supernatural, it looks like it's edited in. This next video was weird. published to the highly popular High Strangeness subreddit, which is essentially one big collection of all sorts of photos, videos and stories relating to the paranormal, UFOs, ancient cultures, cryptozoology, anomalies and other strange things. You know, fake stuff. <laughs> Posted by Truth is Fiction YT, the eerie footage, filmed in Colorado, shows what appears to be a massive hill with seemingly nothing out of the ordinary going on there. But a closer look right. will show you that there's something very fascinating about this particular piece of footage. <laughs> Holy, it's Bigfoot! Alright, just squat it down. Yo, that's so cool. Let me see your camera, I'll do it. Bigfoot's like, no, stop, I'm shy, stop, no, <laughs> stop. Like he turns around. He's like, oh. Alright, oh. squat it down. Don't look at me. Let me see your camera, I'll do it. As the story goes, Stetson Parker and his spouse Shannon traveled throughout Colorado in honor of their 10th wedding anniversary. They climbed aboard the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad, a historic train that, according to its website, provides historic and entertaining rides. However, what the Parkers witnessed from that train's final car wasn't promoted online. The couple I... thinks they have seen Bigfoot, the most elusive of all creatures. I mean, to think that this is just some guy in a suit is even funnier, because imagine you just like dressed up walking around and then a train comes by and you're like, oh no, come on, I was doing my Bigfoot cosplay, I didn't want anybody to see, oh. 33 year old Mr. Parker said that no. he's definitely a believer now. A he's definitely a believer in what? You can be seen walking and squatting in the video, which was captured by a fellow passenger and uploaded to the internet by Mr. Parker. You know what, the more, the, creature the more I look at it, the more it looks like a, like, not even in the video. Like, it looks fake. It into its surroundings. Like, it the looks like a... Because it is close up and magnified. Uh-huh. Mr. Parker stated that the creature didn't appear human to Yeah, him. see, that he looks like remarked, a... quote, it didn't move like a person. It's like it, editing into the ground. It looks like an AI morph of, like, an object. More like an ape, but didn't walk like an ape so much. He continued by saying that the creature's hands reached Look, its, it's like knees morphing into and the that background. its arms appeared too long to be human. Look at that, it morphed into the ground. Quote, it didn't look like anything I've ever seen before, Mr. Parker said. Because you didn't see nothing. I don't nothing. think it was a hoax, and if it was, it was a really good one. End quote. As the video gained international media... Uh, complimenting yourself, patting yourself on the back there. If it's a hoax, it's a really good one, though. Like, if I'm lying, like, it's a super good lie. The attention. More theories started to surface. <laughs> what a... It could have been a bear. The most what? It could have been a bear? Man, sometimes I worry about people. ...option would have been a man dressed in a ghillie suit, a type of camouflage gear that aids in an outdoorsman's ability to blend in with I mean, the he literally, like, he doesn't Mr. blend Parker in, he, like, morphs though, with the ground. Why someone would be wearing a ghillie suit during the height of the well, elk hunting season. Any hunter who does that is guaranteed to get shot. It was also not carrying a weapon. So, what do you think about this extraordinary video? Why is wearing a ghillie suit... Do you think that Parker actually saw Bigfoot well, that day? Why does wearing a ghillie suit guarantee you'll be shot? Nobody's gonna shoot at you if they're, like, see... You won't be seen, you're wearing a ghillie suit. Or was this something else entirely? Be sure to let me know your theories in the comments below. This next video was posted to the UFO subreddit by user known as DHR2330, and it has been the topic of discussion online for the past few days since its initial upload. Let's see. The footage in question was filmed somewhere in Colombia and captures a bright blue sky filled with tons of clouds. But if you look carefully, you'll see that clouds are not the only thing in the sky that day. It's beautiful. 
Oh, hey, look at that. Looks like a drone. Yeah, that looks like a drone. In case that piece of footage was a little bit difficult to see, there's also this stabilized version of the video here. Is that really stabilized? What's with the thing around it? Makes it look a little edited in. The huh? flying object in question definitely appears to be something out of this world. And something about the way it moves looks very unnatural to me. It doesn't even look like they cropped out the whole thing correctly. It kind of looks like you did a botched job in Photoshop and you didn't like actually take the tool, the lasso tool and go around it. A statement from the OP reads as follows. Quote, Why is it got this that? This is really all I know about this particular video. A passenger aboard a commercial airliner captured this footage while traveling from Bogota to Salento in Colombia. The video is very clear and crisp. What looks like your classic flying saucer is flying through the sky. I can't determine the distance of the craft or its size, but it is very clearly seen in the video. Also, I don't know what is being said by those observing this strange object." End quote. Does watching this video make you a little bit more of a believer? Do you think that this uploader managed to capture authentic UFO footage on camera? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Oh, dogs. This video was posted online to Reddit by a user by the name of Last Mammoth 895, who said that he had a weird experience and voice caught on video today. Let's delve into this story. A statement written from the uploader of the video reads as follows, quote, I was at work today and my wife said something weird just happened. She sent me this video that captures movement when the dogs are barking, etc. You were at she work, was but she was the dishwasher in the okay. kitchen, which is in the other room about 20 feet behind the camera. Right. And you may hear that at the beginning of the video. She only noticed the door open to the closet at first. I had my AirPods in when she sent me the video and heard the voice immediately. I quickly realized she hadn't heard this yet. It definitely gave me chills. She's been really freaked out since I made her aware of it. I'm really pretty quick to explain away certain things that happen around the house, okay. but these two happening right next to each other is too great to ignore. My first impression was the word higher, but when I keep listening to it, I'm hearing Taya more and more. Taya, <laughs> Taya, the woman who owned the house before they bought it. She passed away tragically in a what dog accident. Yeah. Or if I'm just losing it. End quote. So let's have a look and have a listen. Why would why would anybody say Taya? I, uh... By watching the video, it's clear that there is definitely something making noise, but it's unclear as to what exactly is being said. Is the spirit saying the name Tyre, like what the uploader hears, or is something Why? else being said? Why would they be Either saying way, that? It's a terrifying case, and it's definitely not something that you would want to hear while relaxing at home one day. And that was five scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then uh -huh. subscribe for more scary content. I'll be honest with you, I didn't like any of those videos. I didn't like a single one. And this one was fun, actually. The school one was fun, but... I mean, the other one, like Bigfoot, that he blends into the ground, man. And then this one, like, has a little faint hue around it, like a faint, like... Like they didn't crop it correctly. End quote. I don't know. Experience and vault.